Hi, I'm Tom from Cotswold Outdoor. This is the latest incarnation of the legendary Arcteryx Beta LT jacket for men. So people always say to me, they say, Tom, Gore-Tex comes in loads of different brands. Why should I buy this one when it's clearly more expensive than the others? And it's hard for me to demonstrate that for you in the shop. What I can do is demonstrate, hopefully, or tell you about examples of, of where I found it to be far superior. So the DWR, the durable water repellent coating that's applied to the face fabric on these jackets, uh, I don't care what anybody says, it is superior. It's absolutely fantastic. Watching that water bead off for a long time, even with the burning of rucksack straps, my climbing harness straps, it just lasts longer. You still need to treat it with Nick Wax, so wash it on the Tech Wash, reproof it with a TX Direct spray on. However, this is just uh, better fabric in the first place uh, but th than some other brands potentially uh, that's laminated onto the top. So whilst the Gore-Tex that's sandwiched in the middle might be identical, the face fabric that goes on the top is what brands have a choice over what they put on and Arcteryx only put the best on. Everything Arcteryx has a name and it means something. In terms of Beta, that's their all-round mountain series of jackets. This is the Beta LT, so the lighter weight version. Not lightweight on performance though, I can tell you that. My Beta LT I've had for a few years. It doesn't get that many outings because it, it packs down and I use it for climbing, mainly as my emergency jacket. If I know it's gonna be wet, then I normally put something like my Alpha SV on. The Beta LT jacket though is a jacket that will do anything for you. This latest incarnation uses Gore Performance technology. So all the layers have been laminated together to give you a really nice softer handle, but also a lot of performance as well. Super waterproof really durably uh, waterproof and breathable. This jacket will last you a long time if you look after it. A beach LT jacket might be LT lightweight, but it's definitely not lightweight in its features uh, or its function. First of all, the cut. The cut is absolutely brilliant. I can lift my arms without the whole jacket rising. So if I'm going climbing, I, that's ice climbing by the way. If I'm going skiing, uh, I won't make the motions for that. Then it just works for everything you want to do, every sport. It's got oversized cuffs with really nice Velcro closures so you can get everything under there you want to. Whether you're trying to trap gloves or gauntlets for winter mountaineering and climbing under, or whether you want to cinch it tight so you've still got your uh, full dexterity of your hands. Water resistant zip on the main zip. It's not chunky gauge, it's deliberately uh, a nice lower profile one so you can get that back, uh, you get that jacket packed up small. You also get their pit zips with them as well. So when you are having to go uphill, you're having to exert or you've got your harness on and it's stopped raining, you can still dump extra heat very quickly that way. As well as two A-frame hand wall pockets. Sit a little bit higher than your harness. Still nice and comfy, you're not having to hold them up high. It's just for a little bit of protection. Say you're walking into the bend, you don't want to get your um, gloves uh, like wet and soggy or, or just damp from sweat. Stick your hands in your pockets for a bit of windproofness first. One of the features I love about it is the drop back as well. A lot of functionality in this jacket, like I say. If you're hiking uh, in, in sort of mixed weather, you throw your jacket on, but you don't want to commit to putting your waterproof trousers on, I would do. Then hopefully some of the rain will just run straight off the back. So the Beta LT, has what looks like quite a big hood. It's just helmet compatible. Luckily, there's loads of adjustment on it to get a perfect fit with or without a helmet. I look like Kenny from South Park. Also, it wouldn't be Arcteryx without some world-beating R&D features. The internal baffle is super, super thin, but stiffened as well, so it's always in the right orientation. And then you get the fleecy chin guard, super soft against the chin, particularly in the cold, when you might be a little bit more sensitive. Also made from Gore-Tex, it forms part of the drain tube. It helps to stop the zip from getting caught when you do it. <laughs> so I'm about six foot tall. I'm pleased to say this is a size medium, and I'm wearing an insulated mid-layer underneath. This is the color Phenom. The hardest thing to get on board with without Terry's clothing is the wacky colour names. I still love it. <laughs>